Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth Hall with Smart Office Help Social Media Management Company. I'm the CEO and founder. I'm also a podcast producer. I produce social smart social media notes podcasts and also fan day radio podcasts. I'm also a lifestyle blogger and today I'm coming to you with my hat on as social media manager and I started this company because I wanted to educate people how to to perform their social media duties in a more efficient way and then also if they needed some help of course I'm here to assist them through smartofficehelp.com so today's hangout is actually going to be about Twitter list now Twitter list is something that you don't really hear a lot about which I'm not sure why because on an average people just follow a lot they have a lot of people that they follow on Twitter so it can become pretty noisy out there to try to follow so many people and there's always specifically like certain individuals that you want to look at now it there are some advantages and some disadvantages of lists, but there's more advantages of lists than anything else. Now, anybody can set up a list. You have the ability to set a list up. You don't have to have a premium service or anything like that. You can just go in and you can create a list if you want to. Now, some of the advantages of doing lists are that you can actually kind of focus your list um, in groups. Now, just what is a Twitter list, you ask? Well, a Twitter list is a way for you to group people into like many timelines of what I call them. So you have like sub timelines that are outside of that big timeline that you might have. So maybe you have like a thousand followers that you have and there's just certain people that you every day you want to hear from these people not that you don't care about everybody else but there may be some tidbits of information that you want to hear about suppose you have a competitor that you want to kind of you know keep your ear on and so there's a way for you to set up a list so that you can actually follow what your competitor competitor is doing on the Twitter list so I'm going to show you how to create a list and uh, I also wanted to give you another reason why you should set up a list of course and the competitor is a big thing if you have a business but maybe there are some family members that you just want to make sure that you you hear them in of the crowd of people that you follow on Twitter so Let's get started and I'm going to show you how to create a list is very easy, very simple and it's very quick. So here I have uh, my one of my uh, social blogs and this is mine. This is Liz for a day and I put this blog up or I'm sorry, not blog, but I actually started this Twitter list because I wanted to converse with people that run. I love to run and so I it quickly grew I don't have a lot of followers on here but that's okay um, it's enough where it's kind of noisy so we we'll want to kind of tailor that down so I can be focused on certain people and in this case I want to pull out the people that I that have blogs because I want to know when they put out their blogs instead of me going to a feeder I can just go here on Twitter when they put out a blog post I can see when they put out that blog post so let's create a list and I'll show you there's several ways that you can create a list so right now I'm in the home screen for Queen Liz for a day and I'm going to go to me because that's just a very appropriate way place to start so in the me screen you have your profile over here on the right hand side and then you have a listing of pretty much things um, that you can take a peek at and one of them is list so let's go to list so when I click on the list what comes up is any list that I already made and I can actually create a list in this area as well so I made one list and that list is people that I know 
and so let's just click on it and see what it looks like so this is just like a sub timeline I still have my regular timeline running behind it actually these people's tweets are actually running in that the main timeline as well but I pulled them out so I can just look at those and I know when they're putting out some information that I want to see so with that let's go back let's go back to me again now I'm going to show you how to you can create your own timeline and we'll just create one so we'll go here to list and then we're going to say create list now this is just one way that you can create a list and here I'm going to put uh, bloggers and these are bloggers that post fitness information all right and I'm gonna make this a public so let's say save if you say private then that's pretty much gonna be for your eyes only so it's up to you whether you want to make it public or private but this one I'm, I'm gonna make public it doesn't have to be for my eyes only but maybe if you're taking a peek at what the competitor is doing on Twitter you might want to make that private so let's save this list now once you save your list see it tells you that the list is created now is basically asking who do you want to add to this list so let's see um, I'm gonna search for road runner girl no road runner girl let's see um let's look for me I'm gonna put in Queen Liz for a day. Let's see if I come up. I did not come up. Well, this is kind of the hard way to find people. Um, there's an easier way, unless these are people that you don't follow and you wanna you're looking for a particular brand. But in this case, these are bloggers that I follow, so. I'm going to do this a little bit differently to add them in. So let's go back to me because that's just the perfect way to start. And then I'm going to go to the people that I follow. So I'll go to following. And in following, it's going to give me a list of all the people I follow. Now let's just find one of the people that I know is a blogger and I love following them. So here we're gonna follow Lori. And Lori, we're gonna click on this little man on the side and we're just gonna say add and remove from list. And here you can see the two lists that I have up. We have bloggers and then we have people that I know. So here I'm gonna click on bloggers and I'm gonna say create the list. Oh. All right, I'm gonna click on here. I'm gonna say add and remove from list. Internal error add and remove from list it's going to bring up my list and I just hit bloggers and that's it and then go out of it let's pick one more person here since I kind of messed that one up a little bit let's find somebody else that we'll put Mari Smith in there she's a top social media influencer but I know what I'm doing here so for some reason getting an error All right, for some reason I'm getting an error, it could be um, my computer, but that's okay because I'm just gonna hit on Mari's name, which this is another way that she can add people to your list. So I'm actually going to her profile summary and here in the profile summary, up under her profile, you'll see the little man, you hit the little man and you just say add or remove from list. So that's always there. And I cre can create a new list. I'm just gonna put social, media professionals how about that and we'll make this a public list uh, as well we'll say save list and it tells me that the list name cannot exceed 25 characters so we're just going to bring this down we'll say pros and we'll put here social media pro Professionals. I like 
and say save. Now Mari Smith, we're going to include her in social media pros. And close. Alright, so we've added people to a couple of lists. And also, say you were just searching, searching around and you went to somebody's site. We'll go here to Mr. Danny Sullivan. And we'll actually go to his Twitter page. And this is his Twitter page. And of course, if you want to add him to a list, we're going to go here, say add or remove, and then we're going to go to, we'll say social media pros, and close. And he's added. Now let's go back to me again. Now we have our list built. And we go to list. And you'll see here where I have the three list built. And you can put anybody in those lists that you want. Now additionally, you can give that list to somebody else so that they can subscribe. So in order for them to subscribe, of course they have to know where to go and look. Now, of course they can go to your page and they can go to list and they can pick the list that's public and they can actually join the list. But a better way, if it's say a social network that you're part of and you created this list for everybody is to invite those people and a way to do that is just to send them um, the link and the link is going to be twitter.com and then it's going to be your username so in this case it would be queen liz for a day so it'll be twitter.com slash queen liz for a day and then it's going to be slash and the name of your list so we'll say bloggers, twitter.com slash queen Liz for a day slash bloggers. And that would be the URL for that list. The person can go on there, they can subscribe. And then if they go into their own page, like I've done here, you can hit subscribe to. And it's going to bring up the list of people that you subscribe to or if you're a member of. Now the member of link actually will go out and see if you're part of somebody else's list. And Liz for a Day is actually a part of the Healthy Living Blogger group. So that is list in a nutshell. So if you want to kind of focus and bring some of that noise down on your Twitter accounts, lists are great for grouping those people in there so that you can stay focused. And just remember, you cannot send individual tweets to people, um, people on this list, um, like a spammer would do. And that's precisely why Twitter does not allow this for spammers. Um, you can remove people for, from the list that you make because there again, you may have some people that are, their activity is a bit spammy. So you want to get rid of that activity off of your list. You can actually remove them from the list or you can ban them. So let's just look at the list again real quick. We'll go to subscribe to and then we're going to go to, we'll say social media pros. We'll go to that list. And as you can see, all the tweets come up for them. And there's just two members on here. But say we wanted to remove one of those people. So we'll go to list members. Because these are the people that are on the list. And we want to remove them. And we'll just click here. And as you can see, your choices are you can add or remove the individual from the list or you can block that person or you can report them for spam. So it's really up to you. Be careful about reporting people for spam or blocking them. But, you know, the add and remove are a great tool there. So I hope that you got something out of this. Go out there and create your list. And believe me, it's going to help you to save time. And that's what it's all about. We have so many social media platforms out there that we're focusing on. It's all about saving time, being efficient, and listening to what's trending in your industry. So if you have any questions for me, you can leave those here on the YouTube channel. Or you can leave them on smartofficehelp.com. And also, you can join me on Twitter 
at smartofficehelp.com is the username or on Facebook again that's smartofficehelp.com I'm looking forward to talking with all of y'all and go out there and have a great day